short tutorial on how to start your coal boiler. First we're going to fill the hopper with coal. All over the floor. So we're going to start this boiler. We're going to use crushed up charcoal. Just set it in here on the manifold or the burner. Six or seven pieces or so. Maybe a few more. And light it on fire. it starts uh, burning, let's we'll turn the switch on. Alright, you ready? You filming? Filming. Alright, so we got the charcoal in there kind of burning away. Looks like it went out, but we'll turn the switch on. Add air. So you just sent power to it? Yeah, and the blower motor come on. Adds air. We'll get it hot again. It should burn pretty easily now. We smother it in coal. A couple handfuls here and there. Let it sit for a couple minutes. You can see it's starting to push through and burn. Is that four. wet? Yeah, it's wet. Very wet. See, look at the water dripping on the floor from it. Let me put one more in there. It's working. Paused. Oh, and now you're adding coal. Wow. It's a good fire. We can't really put it out at this point. How big do you want that small fire to be before you? Everything else is in motion. Just watch. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so, Keystoker boiler. Just like any boiler at home, a little fancier, but thermostat calls, comes down to our relay package over there on the wall, makes TT, sends power over here to our Aquastat. Our Aquastat maintains 180 degrees in this boiler usually, give or take whatever we set it for at this knob. Um, uh, at that point in time, if we look down here, this is our, our blower motor, that's our motor that blows air in for combustion, and this is our our pusher setup. It's on a little cam in there, and that device moves up and down, pushing coal into the fire. Those uh, the pusher motor will cycle on and off on a timer once we get over a certain temperature, which wherever we set that. Um, uh, this also controls the pump as long as we're above whatever this lower number is set for. The pump will come on. Once we go below that, the pump goes off and lets the boiler recover. If we go up over 220. This here makes a set of contacts, turns on a pump, cools the boiler off. We got our exhaust motor over here, spells out our what is it, 308 stainless. Uh, new install is the barometric. Relief pressure. I had issues last year with um, excessive winds forcing air back into my hopper and having hopper fires. How many it. minutes would you say it's been? Well, we just added a ton of yeah, coal added on two top. Two small shovelfuls, but it's been five, ten minutes. But we had a raging coal fire. 
It's a little too raging. We got hot coal flying off the end of the burner, but that'll catch up once it all burns up and evens out. Oh, hot coal's going over the edge? Yeah. Not good. Well, not, not bad, but not supposed to happen. 